Bold Magnificence, Episode 11. Welcome to the Bold Magnificence podcast. I'm Nat Karotmatry, and today I want to talk to you about using recreation as fuel for your work. So, this morning I went to the gym, and I haven't been going to the gym for some time. And I think the reason behind that was because I was putting a lot of judgment and pressure in myself to go that I needed to go to lose weight or to keep the weight off or, um, you know, it was important for my health. And these are all valid reasons, but that added pressure on myself didn't make me want to go at all. And to avoid that pressure, I would sleep in, do other stuff, But today at the gym, halfway through the class, I started to feel different. And I started to feel more energized and replenished. And I had a different perspective about going to the gym that, yeah, okay, sure. It helps me stay in shape and it helps me be mobile and and all of that. But ultimately, what it does for me is fill me up and replenish me and give me the energy to continue to give and to grow my business. And so I wonder as entrepreneurs, instead of thinking of recreation, or even resting and relaxing as a reward, what if we can use it as the fuel to do great work? What if we turn that equation around where as a form of self-appreciation, and valuing ourselves, we make recreation mandatory, a priority, so that we can do even better work in the world. Just thinking about this excites me because I wasn't brought up this way. You know, I've often been taught the way to be successful in life is to work hard and to push and to pressure yourself. And then you can enjoy life. And honestly, this way of living has not worked for me. I mean, in a sense it has, but it's not very fulfilling. And the idea of letting myself feel good for the sake of feeling good and feeding off of that energy to do my work feels a lot better. So this is my invitation to you. If you've been working hard, pushing yourself, giving a lot of yourself in hopes of being able to relax and enjoy your life later, what's one thing that you can do today to flip that equation and give you sustenance, fuel? What's one thing that you can do to take care of yourself first? so that later you're better able to give to others. Love to hear what you do. Connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com slash coachnat or go to my site, boldmagnificence.com and uh, send an email to me through the contact page. All right, 
make it a magnificent day because you are magnificent.